I would like to talk to you about amazing pocket multimeter today. This idea comes from the fact I found this model in a fly market and the seller was selling it three times the just price, which was a real scam in fact. I looked on my phone and I told it to the seller, but he didn't want to hear anything. So I purchased it from the same price on the internet. Depending from the seller, you can find it decked by 80 bucks stamp or pick meter stamp. I was very astonishing by the clarity of the display and additioning to that it have a illuminated display and also it have a little lamp in front. I use a lot this kind of multimeter for walking because it's light and inexpensive but this is not a real pocket meter. In this way this new model is more suitable to inclusion in the pocket meter list. On the other hand the model which is perfectly pocket meter will be this one which fulfills other function necessary in a pocket. It's able to read capacitors whereas this one cannot. These both multimeter have not the capacitor caliber while this one do a perfect job for this, like you can see here. According which seller you purchase it from, you will have the pack meter in this package and the 8 bucks in this one. I think to not make an original video just to talk about multimeter, if I was not talking about the ability of this multimeter to make a quick measurement. Of course, they have not the same speed of measurement on each caliber. But here I am interested by the fast and ability measurement of voltage and current of each. But anyway, this kind of multimeter here are not sight multimeters. They can easily do the job on your garage or workbench for your car or in a low industrial voltage area. If you need an industry or thoroughly multimeter, you probably need those one mainly for safety reason. Exceptionally, you can use this one, which is awesome, but don't use those one on other those areas. A real pocket meter seems to be like that, which can fulfill a pocket. As you can notice here, it's a class 2 ranked and it means it have a fuse inside for the current readings. As you can see here, this multimeter cannot read capacitance, also it can only read microamps, milliamps, DC and AC voltage, diodes, resistor, but no capacitance. Unlike this one, which is more in the pocket multimeter mind, which on the other hand can read capacitance. Of course, read of capacitance is rarely made on site or the floor. It's sometimes allotted to workbench and you rarely need it on the pocket multimeter. So as you can see here, this multimeter is perfectly able to read the main voltage, but it have its limits. Don't forget to not exceed the limit which can damage the device and you by the same way. This device is not an industrial meter. Even if you can see here the initial of a double isolation on the device. Normally we can reach the DC voltage here, but for more safety, just keep in mind that you will never measure a voltage over the main value. It can detect electrostatic field coming from the main or low voltage phase, even from alternative low voltage. And here you can see it also able to detect electromagnetic fields as a radiation from a high frequency and voltage switching supply. My first test here is to see if this device is able to read the main voltage on a non-continue voltage. Because I have not here my frequency generator, my first test here is to see if this device is able to read the main voltage on a new continue voltage. Because I have not here my frequency generator, I used this component tester able to give some frequency output. I used the pulse with a modulation control to change the duty cycle and read the corresponding voltage on the display. I adjust the output for to have 1 volt RMS. In this case, the value in RMS and means is not the same. Thing I don't really understand, maybe because invisible height peak surge cause means read on the scope display. And so, you can see this multimeter reading the good value, according to the duty cycle equivalent voltage. This is a 8 kHz frequency. You can see the anning do it right. And also the flux say they are right both. Someone asked me how to measure 
high frequency voltage with a low cost multimeter, which is a sample rectifier and filter with a capacitor and high frequency diode and little fuse. You have to connect your DC multimeter on top and the probe on the bottom of the circuit. Don't forget you will read the peak voltage in this case. We are going to use this very little and easy assembly to check the fast response for measuring and the master of metrology will be the fluke here. Un, deux, zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux. Une LED rouge. LED verte. Une diode. Deux diodes en série. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un. Zéro, un. Zéro, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. Ok pour la diode rouge. Ok diode verte. Diode dans un sens normal. Dans l'autre sens. Diode de courant. 0, 1, 2. Mesure de tension. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux, trois, quatre. Zéro, un, deux, trois, quatre. Capacité, je ne pas. Diode. Là, pas capable de l'aide rouge, pas capable de l'aide verte, pas capable de diode, uniquement diode dans le contresens. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un, deux. Zéro, un. It's astonishing how the quality is good despite the price. It's a perfectly made and it's come from China. That's very amazing. You can notice here it's specified to have a fuse inside, which values corresponding nearly to the fuse inside. The cable output is very nice made and the wire is very thick which is made more safety directly soldered to the PCB. Here the ceramic fuse which is the minimal protection you can wait from a low cost multimeter. You can see right underneath nearly the same inscription you can find on the cover. Very amazing multimeter, easy to cut around, very light, not expensive 
easy to replace and quite reliable. I never saw a so clear display like that before. That's amazing. European community approved 600 DC voltage, which means 400 alternative voltage, 200 milliamps with a fuse inside, double isolation conformity. That's cool. See you soon.